When archaeology was first introduced, it was met with optimism. It was a secondary profession allowing us to fly around the world to dig for relics and ancient artifacts. I think that sentiment of it being a cool and fun profession would have stuck around through Cataclysm had it not been for the fact of the dreaded pre-raid best in slot. You see, in addition to having unique mounts, toys, and pets, archaeology also had access to raid level equivalent gear. As such, people who wanted to maximize their character power but had no interest in archaeology still had to get on their mount, head out into the world, and start digging. This led to a lot of resentment towards the profession, and Blizzard learned their lesson and refrained from adding raid quality gear to archaeology in future professions. But the thing about reliving the great expansions is that we also have to relive the failed experiments. And as such, here's how you as a raider get the most out of archaeology. First, some information about the profession. It doesn't compete with any other profession slot, rather it's a secondary profession, just like cooking or fishing. You start at one skill point and work your way up to 525. In order to search for archaeology fragments, you have to travel to dig sites around the world, cast survey, and follow a color-coded spyglass. Once you've gathered enough fragments, you can craft random items from the tribe that the fragment is associated with. Once you've crafted the item, a new random item will take its place. At the start, you'll just have access to the dig sites in Eastern Kingdom and Kalimdor, meaning that Night Elf, Troll, Dwarf, and Fossil artifacts are the ones that will be available from the start. As you level up, you'll get access to Outlands, Northrend, and Oldham dig sites. Once you reach level 425, you'll be able to use your archaeology to either nerf the mobs in the dungeon you're doing or buff yourself with a small damage buff. Granted that archaeology will not be prioritized over running heroics at the start of the expansion, this feature will have rather limited value, but maybe for gamma dungeons in the future. Alright, let's take a look at how to optimize things for our purposes. First, identify which of the tribes it is that you want your reward from. The most common ones will be Troll for Zinrock or Dwarf for the Thurisian Staff. The continent where these are located are the ones you will spend most of your time. Lucky for us, both Troll and Dwarf dick sides are found in Eastern Kingdom, which is the most condensed zone and thus the quickest one to level in. Leveling from 1 to 100, you get 1 skill point per relic you pick up. Serving dig sites after level 100 does not grant any skill, so we want to avoid crafting any artifacts before we reach level 100. You can at most hold 200 fragments from each tribe, so it's quite possible that you will reach 200 fragments before hitting level 100 with the profession. At that point, head over to another continent until you reach level 100. At that point, it's time to start crafting. Each craft of a common artifact gives you 5 skill points, and each craft of a rare artifact gives you 15 skill points. Never ever craft without using the keystone slot if it's available. Even if you have more fragments than the craft requires, using a keystone will subtract the amount of fragments that are used. Keystones can be bought from the auction house, but you'll receive a lot of them while you're out digging. With the faction that you're looking to receive an epic from, you'll want to hover around 200 relics. Craft just enough artifacts in order to keep you from going over the cap. The reason is that we don't want to be wasting a bunch of our relics before we're eligible to receive the thing that we're after. For epic gear, that level is 450 skill points. When we reach that level, we'll want to spend all of our relics and keystones with the appropriate tribe. At this point, it's just a game of hoping for the RNG gods to bless us. Trolls luckily only have one rare project, which is the epic sword meaning that the chance that we will get the project you want is about 7%. Dwarves have a total of 4 rare projects, and thus getting the staff is about a 3% chance. Tolvir is the outlier here that only has 7 non-rare projects and 6 rare projects, meaning that the chances you will get either the sword, ring, staff, pet, or mount is much greater here. The drawback, however, is that Tolvir dig sites share a respawns with the Kalimdor dig sites meaning that you will need to fly around Kalimdor in order to spawn the dig sites in Tolvir. For a quick overview, here are all of the 359 item level epics you can get with archaeology. Ultimately, if you don't enjoy archaeology, I wouldn't sweat too much about sinking all of your time into the chances of getting a normal raid equivalent weapon. But with all of the sweating that will be going on during Cataclysm launch, it may be nice to take a break while drinking a nice cup of coffee to go around the world while having a chance at getting your pre-raid best in slot. For a lot of people hopping into heroic raiding, these items will be replaced within the first few weeks. However, they will also give you a better shot at clearing the content. If you want to stay up to date on all things Cataclysm, make sure to subscribe.
But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.